Hey bitches and bros and non-binary hoes. If you're new here then welcome to the fam and if you're not then welcome back. I'm still too lazy to make a long intro but I'm trying. Okay. Thank you for your support and positivity. I'm truly thankful. Alright alright that's enough of me rambling some useless shit. On to the video. Get your teacups ready because this is some piping hot tea. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you don't then I'm going to manifest your death or have our wakatoshi cunt spike a ball into your mean ass or our baby core a server ball right into your head. You'll die either way lol. Oh and before I forget, please don't tell my master that his little bottle is making YouTube videos. He'll drown me in my own little and that's double homicide cause he's too broke to buy a new little bottle. Disclaimer, I don't own any of the characters, the art, or the songs used. This is simply a fan fiction written by no one other than me. The ideas portrayed in this video solely belong to the owner. Don't share my work in a form other than the video's link unless I grant you permission to do otherwise. Inappropriate language is being used and provocative images are sometimes displayed. If you're uncomfortable with yayoi, BL, or same gender relationships then please leave. Proceed only if you're older than 16. Hey guys. Welcome to another video. This one got the most votes in the poll I made a while ago. So. Here you go. Turn on the notification bell for updates and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Thank you for your support and hope you enjoy your stay here. Now on to the video. This is after time skip. It was a normal Friday evening when Oikoa decided to throw a small boy's night in his and Iwazumi's apartment. Iwazumi was against it but eventually he gave in. Iwachan. Oikoa screamed from the bedroom and Iwazumi sprinted to the room to see what was going on. What happened? Worry was written all over Iwazumi's face as his eyes searched the room for any possible reason that would make Oikoa scream. Kenma said he can't make it. Iwazumi heaved a sigh of relief because Oikoa was okay but it was immediately replaced with a glare. So you scream as if you found a snake. And I already know because Kiru told me already. So no need to scream. Iwazumi was trying his hardest not to send his slipper flying into Oikoa's face. Alright alright. Sorry. Oikoa rolled his eyes at Iwazumi. Do that one more time and I'll make sure they remain stuck in the back of your head. Stop bluffing. You know I'm not bluffing and that I can actually do it. Yeah yeah sure. 8pm that day. All of them were scattered on the couch and the floor. A movie was playing but no one was really focusing. They were busy either getting drunk or teasing Sakusa and Tarashima. No. I don't spray people. Oh me yeah lion. I'm not. Sakusa took a sip from his beer as he glared at Atsumu. Cough cough. Before Oikoa comes back from the bathroom. Under no circumstances do not let him get drunk. I repeat. Do not let him get drunk. But why? Yay why? Please don't. I won't be able to handle him. Sounds to me like you're the only one who's actually able to handle him. Kiru no. Kiru yes. Let's get Toru drunk. That's a bad idea. No. I agree with Akashi-san. Kajima, you're no fun. Oh god number. Iwazumi face palmed himself. Who's no fun? Oikoa was back from the bathroom. The room falling silent. Iwazumi said not to. And before Sakusa could continue. Atsumu slapped Sakusa's mouth to silence him. Mia what the? He says Hajime Kun said not to hold back with drinking. We get in drunk tonight ha 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 ha. Atsumu awkwardly laughed, seeing steam coming out of Iwazumi's ears. Oh goodness. Oh. Iwachan said that? Is the world ending? Sigh. This night will be eventful. Atsumu and Hinata snickered while Tarashima smirked. Who invited you? I called eyed Tarashima and raised an eyebrow. You did. I don't remember doing so. Out of my house. What? I'm kidding. So we playing games? Hell yeah. 
I ain't kissing anyone. Who said we're kissing people? I can't kiss anyone anyway. Kajima is right here. Oh man. I wanted to kiss Toru. Say that again? Sakusa didn't respond. He just sent his rubbing alcohol spray bottle flying into Atsumu's head. Ouch. Kiss the bottle if you want your mouth to be occupied so bad. Akashi can I kiss you? No. Why? Bakuto-san. Y'all still use honorifics? We don't. But you do. Akashi-kun. No. Stop. Cow. That's more like it. I feel single. Me too. Dai-chan overslept. Snakes hibernate? Tobio-chan are you dumb? It's not winter. But he's oversleeping. Kajima are you a grizzly bear? Because you're oversleeping the entire time. Hinata both no. Oh god. Vo. Yes ku? Kiss me. Sure bro. No homo. Cow. Sorry bro. But my lips are reserved for Kiji. I don't see his name on them. Bakuto then grinned and flipped his lower lip, showing Akashi's name tattooed on the inside of his lower lip. Gasp. That's cool. Chuckle. I got stoned with Suna once and I woke up with it. Bakuto then wheezed at the memory and Sakusa grimaced, recalling the events and how he had to deal with it all. Omi Omi. Let's have matching tattoos. No. That looks painful. Bro how could you? What happened to being homosexual? I'm akashisexual now. Cow. Bochan. You need to get a tongue piercing. It'll look dope. Akashi blushed and they all turned to him. Oh. You wanna know what that tongue ring do, huh? Okura smirked as he elbowed Akashi lightly. Shut up. I really should get one. I don't recommend. I bet you never had a needle enter your body apart from vaccination and blood drawing needles. I actually have. Sakusa then reached for his nose and flipped a hidden septum ring out. And that earned screams and gasps. Author's note, Omi plus septum ring equals chef's kiss. And I thought he can't be any hotter. Toru shut yeah trap. Omi Omi please get a tongue piercing. No. Oh goodness. The septum is beautiful. I know right. I'm the one who convinced him. And Omar convinced him to get an eyebrow piercing too. Omi Omi. Come on fuck me emo boy. No. Oh goodness. I'm totally getting one soon. Iwa Chan. A tongue piercing please. So that I can please the already pleased pillow princess? No thanks. But piercings are actually cool. And Ikua-san. I thought you'd be a switch. Not a straight up pillow princess. I am not. I sometimes top when I feel like it. Wait. Haji I'm not going to defend you. Don't. Do. 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 Fucking do. I only top when poor LWA-chan is so frustrated with himself and starts to beg me for it. Gosh where's Rin when we need him? Fucking your brother in your bed. Omi stop. Ikora you little shit. Iwezumi clenched his fists and was about to punch Ikora. Do it and you won't get to touch me for a week. Ikora crossed his arms and stared Iwezumi down. Fine. Iwezumi huffed before he relaxed back into the spot he was sitting in. Sim. Yeah <laughs> And I am not shy to admit it. I'd simp too. It's Toru y'all. Mia. Sorry. Hinata and Bakuto were taking turns bringing too much drinks from the kitchen. All of them had a goal to get Oikoa drunk but Akashi, Sakusa, Kajima, and Uezumi were obviously against it. Oikoa loved alcohol and his tolerance was pretty decent. It's just, he was a bit too much when he got wasted and Iwezumi hated dealing with it. You four did what? Ikora almost spat out his cocktail, his eyes wide at Hinata, Bakuto, Atsumu, and Sakusa. Yeah. We kinda had a fivesome with our captain. Please don't. It was hot. 
I bet it was. I only agreed to join because me and San is hygienic. Wow. I were Chan. No. Even if it's Kiru Chan? What? Still a no. You'll want to fuck me. Yeah duh. Dai Chan would die for a piece of you. Keep that slimy sticky snake away from me. EWW. They all then glanced at a sleeping Kajima. His tolerance was quite low so he fell asleep fast. Tobio Chan is sleeping. Let's talk shit about him. He's sleeping. Not dead. But I have some tea. Hinata then downed his drink before he set the glass down on the table with a thud. Okura-san. Ashijima-san has a crush on you. EWW he's still alive. Don't act clueless shit Okura. I want to fuck that man once. But I'm scared he'll see me all hot and bothered and will just go like how may I help you. Densas. Seriously. Does he still read the ads in magazines? He does. I see him do it the whole time. It's fascinating. Weren't you asleep in a minute ago? Oh. Wow. Tobio chan Remember when you confessed your undying love to me in middle school? No. La. You cried like a baby when I rejected you. I felt proud. Iwazumi realized that Okoa was really starting to get tipsy. His face was all flushed and he was speaking slower than usual. And he was blunt. He was always blunt but this was too much. Toru baby. That's enough drinks. No. You're just scared I'll tell them how much of a bottom bitch you are if I keep drinking. You call me daddy goddammit. Akashi spat his water as Bakuto and Kiru snickered. Tarashima. Hinata, and Atsumu straight up wheezed as they noticed Sakusa roll his eyes. Toru I swear to my fucking god. LWA Chan. You're so cute when you're mad. Makes me want to fuck the attitude out of you. Toru slow down man. We're still here. No no no. Please continue. Kajima just fell asleep on Hinata's lap again. This is getting good. Toru. Yes baby. Shut up. Make me. You're done. No more drinks. Alright alright I'm sorry. Just one more. Please. Pretty please with sugar and a cherry on top. Ikora pouted and looked at Iwazumi with innocent eyes. Iwazumi knew he fucked up because if Ikora pulled out the puppy eyes, then he won't be able to say no to him for the rest of the night. It was Uezumi's weakness and Ikora wasn't aware of that just yet. Uezumi was glad Ikora didn't know, or he would have used it to his advantage. Fine. Just one more. Yay. Hinata then handed Ikora another tequila shot. This ended the last bit of Ikora's sobriety. He was full on drunk the moment he downed that shot. Sheesh. That burned. Tsumu. Yes bestie. Yeah hot. Now yeah cop I in my accent but thanks babe. You too. I know. Oh hell number. This is about to be fun. Who? Yes Bo. Your camera. Ready. Okay. Is this my chance to kiss Cora? Consent you brat. He's drunk so his consent isn't valid. Keep it in your damn pants. Sakusa hissed. I'm kidding. Tarashima glared at Sakusa before he downed his drink. I'll go to the bathroom. Excuse me. Akashi excused himself as he got up and disappeared into the bathroom. Why is it so quiet? Did I get abandoned? Ikora then snuggled close into the person sitting next to him. You're so warm. Get the fuck away from me before I have you drink Lissel to sober your ass up. Sakusa scrunched his nose in disgust as he resisted the urge to elbow Ikora in the ribs with all the strength he has. Mimi. LWA Chan. I miss you. I'm right here. Iwazumi sighed. He just disappeared. Ikora then got up and clumsily made his way to the kitchen, bumping into furniture on his way. Laughter erupted from every single one of them except for Iwazumi who just shook his head and was worried. 
I were Chan. You didn't divorce me, did you? Ikora was yelling. Did you too? When, where, why, how, what? We didn't. Yet. Okay, that was adorable. Yeah, that reminds me. I gotta propose soon. Imar help. Oh god. Wait. He's in the bathroom so he might hear you. Toru is screaming so I'm pretty sure he won't. Am I marrying this? Am I attracted to this? Unfortunately yes. Sounds like my situation with Mia. Kenma would say he relates. I just know it. Omi Omi what do you mean? I love you. I I love you too. Atsumu blushed and Sakusa snickered. I'm a free spirit and so is Daichan. We won't be getting married anytime soon. Watch them be the first couple getting married. It do be like that sometimes. Omi Omi. When are we getting married? When you get rid of your accent. But. That ain't gon' happen. Yeah I know. Kiyomi you're mean. He is. Come on Omi-san. Don't be so mean to Tsumu. Soon enough Tsumu. We already talked about getting married, remember? Oh. Oh right he he he. Atsumu chuckled, the blush on his face deepening. Kajima is way too shy to propose. Seems like I'm the one doing it. Root in for your shoyokun. Before anyone else could respond, Okura started to talk again. LWA-chan. When did you get taller? Okura had Akashi locked in an embrace against the wall. Akashi was stunned but he didn't move. Okura had his head buried in Akashi's chest as he trapped him in a hug. Toru. Even your voice became softer. LWA-chan. I love you. Okura then kissed Akashi's cheek. And let's just say. Bakuto was horrified. He dropped his drink which spilled on the carpet and his jaw was on the floor. He had tears in his eyes as he watched Akashi and Oikora. Kiji. He whispered. Iwezumi on the other hand was fuming. This is why I fucking said don't fucking get him drunk. LWA-chan. Let's get married. You're so pretty. Lem smash. Oikoa was whining as he tightened his hold around Akashi who was just staring down at Oikoa with indifference. Yeah let's do that. Gasp. Hajim. Go get your man before I go get mine. But Kuto was now pissed. Toru. I'll kiss you in the morning. You need sleep. But. LWA-chan. Oh goodness. Fine. Akashi then grabbed Oikoa's chin with his thumb and index finger, tipping Oikoa's head up a little bit. Akashi leaned in closer so that their lips slightly brushed. Your boyfriend is going to kill me but I'm doing you a favor right now. Akashi whispered before he pressed his lips against Oikoa's, Oikoa's eyes going wide for a second before he closed them again. Oh. My. God. My turn. Vo. No. Fine. This is crazy. Toru. Me next. Me I swear to god. Oikoa held on to Akashi's sides for support, the alcohol finally getting to his head. He was melting, his legs felt like mush beneath him and he felt his consciousness slowly. Slipping away. This is stupid. No it's hot. I'd watch this all day. Patience, Bakuto. Oikoa is about to pass out. And you'll have your man all to yourself again. How often does this happen? He gets touchy when he's drunk. So yeah. He kisses people when he's drunk. I don't mind it though. It's hot when I'm watching. Your incense. So you won't marry Akashi just because he kissed Oikoa? Who said that? I'll go buy a ring tomorrow. They were whispering as Oikoa and Akashi were in their own little world. The kiss was elevated into a make-out session with their hands now all over each other. The alcohol was also getting to Akashi's head as he felt himself melt. Hinata, Atsumu, Tarashima, and Sakusa were watching. Bakuto and Kiru were planning the proposal. Iwezumi leaned back and enjoyed the show as he sipped on his drink. Hajime. 
Ikora softly moaned into Akashi's lips. You know. I'd usually get upset if my partner moans out someone else's name. But this is hot for some reason. Akashi smirked before he went in for another kiss, his hands around Ikora's waist to hold him in place. But then. Ikora passed out. Akashi held him so that he doesn't drop to the floor. He's heavy. I need help. He called out for them and Iwazumi just walked over and carried Ikora bridal style to their room. He emerged out of the room after he tucked Ikora in. Kiji. Yes. Why? You know you liked watching. It's written all over you. Akashi then glanced at Bakuto's boner. I. I did. Bakuto whispered and Akashi chuckled, kissing Bakuto on the cheek. Iwazumi cleared his throat as he sat down, all eyes on him now. Lesson learned? Was there a lesson? Imar get him drunk again. This was hot. You're a lost cause. All of you. Omi don't be mean. You wished that was you ha? Huh? Honestly yeah. Toru is hot. Don't talk about my future husband like he's a bag of candy. Can I have a go at him though? Me too. I wouldn't mind having a round as well. It was almost midnight. All of you. Get out of my damn house. Iwazumi actually thought about it for a second. It sounded too hot to dismiss. Whatever. Stay. Stay the night. Y'all are too drunk to leave. Dots. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. I love you all. I'm too lazy to make an outro. Tell my master that I'm making YouTube videos and I'll have my fellow Lissel Bottles kick your ass. Thanks for watching.